Welcome everyone, welcome to my seminar, Law 101. Today we're going to find out what law school is really like and how to best succeed in law school. First thing you have to realize is law school is not like undergrad. There are major differences between law school and undergrad. Undergrad was probably pretty easy for most of you if you're either in law school or thinking about law school. Write three basic steps for your exams. First, you read. Easy enough, plenty of time to read, not too many pages. And then you have to remember for the exams. And then regurgitate, what I call the word vomit. When you get into your exam, you don't really know what the essay is asking you to write about, but you're really smart. You can remember all this stuff, regurgitate, or word vomit all over, and lo and behold, comes back and you get an A. Law school is nothing like that. Undergrad success, very easy. Most of the time, there's a right answer and a wrong answer. It's black and white. Law school, not so. In law school, there's a right answer, a wrong answer, and the real answer, which is the law school answer. And that is what I call living in the gray. If there ever is a correct answer in law school, most of the time that correct answer is, it depends. It depends on the rule, it depends on the facts, it depends on the judge, it depends on the jury, it depends on your professor if in fact you're writing a final exam. Contrary to what you may think, you are not going to law school to learn the law. Sure, you're going to need to learn the law to do well, but that's not why you're going to law school. You're going to law school in order to think like a lawyer. Today, we're gonna to talk a lot about exactly what it means to think like a lawyer. One thing about law school, much more so than undergrad, you have a lot to remember. You have rules, you have extensions of rules, you have exceptions to rules, you have majority rules, you have minority rules, all this information swimming around. You need to know how your memory works. And today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about how your memory works so when you get to law school, you're prepared so you can learn all these rules, extensions of rules, exceptions to rules, majority, minority rules. We learn, remember best, by rhyming, rhythm, alliteration, and most of all, visualization. So let's talk a little bit about that. So my top five tips for law school success. And most importantly, which should not be overlooked, number five on our list, network. This is about getting a job to pay off all those law school loans that you had to take out, all that debt that you're in. Unlike undergrad, or maybe your goal for a particular class or a particular curriculum was to maybe get good grades or maybe get into law school was your goal. This is about networking. Sure, grades are important, but there's a whole other world of networking that's gonna help you get your job. So let's talk about that. And in my humble opinion, one of the most important things about law school, your attitude. Neuroscience now tells us that your mood impacts your brain's ability to function, the executive functioning of your brain. You know, the parts for focus, critical reasoning, memory, the things that you need to be working at a very high level during law school, if you wanna do well, your mood impacts how your brain functions. So one thing I tell my students right before their first semester final exams, typically the most stressful time in a law student's life, is this. Everything in life boils down to two things and two things only. You either get to do something or you have to do something. And which perspective you predominantly choose will be the single greatest factor in determining your happiness and success in law school. More than anything else, it is about awareness and discipline. Be aware of what you're getting yourself into and what you need to do in order to maximize your law school success and be disciplined enough to do it. So let's talk a little bit more about that. It is about right thought, right words, right actions, which lead to right results. Because law school can take a lot out of you. The first year in particular is tough. So let's talk a little bit about what I mean when I say right thoughts, 
right words, right actions, and hopefully getting you to the right results for your law school success. Thanks for participating in my seminar. For more information, please feel free to visit my website at lawschoolzen.com or feel free to check out my brand new book coming out. It's a book and it's a companion documentary following nine of my students for three years of law school. It's called Law 101, What Law School is Really Like, and that's available at Carolina Academic Press. If you'd like me to come to your school, do a seminar, feel free to contact me at my email address on the screen below. Thanks for listening. Positive energy to y'all.